I want to just talk here. Greg's got a current uh, home for sale at the moment. And Greg, you know, this, tell us a little bit about this home and some of the, the key things why you love this so much. Well, a lot of people, as soon as they think about going into apartment living, they think it's going to be too small. I'm, no, I'm never going to fit in there. It's not going to happen. When you look at something like this, you look at the design, how cleverly it is designed. When you look at that sort of stuff, you'll see a lot of cupboard space, bedrooms a decent size, bedrooms split by a bathroom. So you've got privacy within the two bedrooms. You've got windows in both, recessed cupboard space, island benches. So you can have a table or no table, and then you've got a beautiful living space. So where do we the, put the drum kit, most importantly? I was about to, when Lucas was talking about <laughs> <laughs> making sure you know what's happening, make sure that there's not someone that has a metal band that rehearses in that building. Okay, so the drum kit, well, we can put that downstairs somewhere. Okay. okay, but generally speaking, we don't want someone with a drum kit here. But in terms of design, you can actually, if you look for the right, like this one, that's why I particularly like it. Two big bedrooms, split, plenty of covered space, lots of uh, bench top space, uh, balconies. It's just an awesome layout, but within a small space, maximizing the usage. Okay, so Greg, tell us. Two bed, one bath, plus a car. What's the price of this? Six fifty nine. Okay, seems pretty reasonable to me. Yeah. Um, you know, I touched on before. If you're a first home buyer, and there's a lot of price caps with those government incentives, that's within all of those price caps. You can get all of those, which is great. Um, James, I want to put that into context. A lot of I always tell my buyers when I say to people before they say, "What's the price?" I said, "Very important to look at what is the price per square meter." Now, typically, you look at pricing can be 10,000 up to 15,000 a square meter. Here, in an apartment like this with great finishes, well under 9,000. That's very, very important. Look at the price per square meter. Okay, good. Yeah. Getting value. Yeah. All right, um, Lucas, you got another listing here. Quickly tell us a little bit about it. Why should people be not listening to Greg and listening to you? Uh, because it's an amazing apartment. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> um, look, this is a, a beautiful apartment, so it's quite spacious. Um, the design, again, it all does come down to design because I've had people that were looking for, I need an apartment that has to be at least 100 square meters. And I say, really, just, is it just you? Oh, yeah, just me and, and this is a partner that visits here and there. Then they walk in and they say, wow, this is an amazing design. You know, there's not weird angles. There's not pillars in the middle of the room that take up space. I've actually, an example last week, I showed that property uh, on Thursday and the people leave two builders next door and they said, our build apartment is much bigger, but this feels more of a home. This feels so much good. Like it's usable space. It's very cleverly Big designed. is not better. It's not, exactly. So it's all about the design. They said that the bedrooms are very good size. I love how you've got an actual study, um, you know, so it's, it's all those things that make a difference. Um, and then again, you know, when we say look where you live as well, it's not just the apartment itself, but the building that you choose in the apartment. Um, and I'm not sure if you're going to go into a later about, about amenities. I think I've got some and pictures this. here. Yeah. And, and this is it. And, you know, when, when I take people through the building, um, it's it's very exciting because everybody's like like wow and i keep on saying but wait a minute we've got three levels of amenities for me this is a building that keeps on giving and giving and giving so you know you take them through there's a pool the spa the steam room the gym um the the the, the private lounge rooms the outdoor sitting and barbecue area all those things um it's not just the amenities but imagine how many thousands of dollars you save by greg is this where we're putting the band <laughs> Absolutely. That's it. That's it. So we can have private band sessions, metal there, head banging, and it's beautiful because yeah, it's actually sealed, so you can't see what's going in there. Yeah. That's it. So so you know, you, you can save a lot of money and time. Everybody's is time poor these days, right? So people want the ability to within the building go to the pool or go and have a workout or relax their door and have a glass of wine if, if that's what you want to do. So almost everybody I've met is, is time poor. So having yeah. this kind of first class amenities within a building, um, you know, it's really important. It's a huge plus. All right, good. Now I can see we've gone way over time. So I'll just wrap it up there. But 
know, what the guys have just touched on there, you know, as Lucas was just talking about being time poor and thinking about it, remember that's the third pillar, manage. Understanding your time. Are there certain things, for example, how good does that pool look? But guess what? I've got my own pool. I've got to clean it. You've got to put salt in it, chlorine. You've got to put the acid. It's always going, it goes green, it's blue, it's purple. Then it's short on water. Then it's too hot, it's too hot, cold. It's a bloody nightmare, okay? And I love it, but I'd love to have someone else do it because you know what? My kids don't even want to swim in it anymore. By the time I do all this and I jump in and I'm by myself and I think, oh, great, that was really worth it. So, you know, it's things like that, managing your time efficiently, talking about the space. You know, we, we touched on, um, you know, areas like these shared communal spaces, big outdoor areas that you can go and spread your wings for the few times a year that you want to do it and then really focus in inside your own four walls. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. As I said, 